Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it's part three of the Celine tote bag sew along. So today I'm gonna to be talking you through putting in the interior zipper pocket with a facing. So let's get started. I'm installing the Pocket A supplement from Chris W Designs. I'm not doing the sew along for this particular pattern because the, the pattern instructions themselves are excellent and you probably won't need them. And also if I did that, then you wouldn't need to buy the pattern. So obviously don't want to take any money out of Chris's pocket. So what the, the way that I have positioned this on the lining bottom lining panel i've drawn a lint a line one and a quarter inches down from the top two inches in from the left and it ends up being one and about seven eighths in inches in from the right so i'm going to sew this in and finish this particular piece again with no no more instruction than that but i just wanted to show you where you would want to position it on your bottom lining panel when you come to that point if you're going to include the pocket a supplement so i'm deviating from the pattern by adding in an internal zip a zipper pocket and uh, that's just because i like to have lots of pockets in my bags and this is also my preferred way of turning a bag through so you want to find the center of your bottom lining panel and you're going to do this on the interfacing side not on the right side of the fabric ask me how i know and you're going to find the center and just prick crease that finger press it so that you've got a crease there you then want to measure two inches down from the straight edge from the top and you're going to draw a seven inch and wide and half inch deep rectangle so three and a half inches that side of the center three and a half inches this side of the center you then as i say you're going to draw a line in the center of that box which is obviously a quarter of an inch down from the top and a quarter of an inch up from the bottom and then half an inch away from each side you're going to draw a little triangle into the corners of the box you're going to, get to take your zipper facing piece and we're going to put those right sides together so like this and you're going to center the zipper facing over that box that you've just drawn and we're going to sew all the way around that box and I like to start in the middle with a regular stitch length when I get to around about here I drop my stitch length down to 1.5 when I get to the corners I actually take a one diagonal stitch across the corner it helps you get pointier corners which seems very counterintuitive but it does work so one tiny stitch in diagonally across the corner stitch down there diagonally across there back out to about here, put your stitch length back up to the normal and then do exactly the same side, side this side. And when you get back to the where you started stitching, back stitch. So once you've done that, you should end up with something that looks a bit like this. So you've got the right sides of the facing to the right side of the bo bottom panel piece. So then we're gonna open up this window by cutting along that middle line that you drew. You're gonna cut up to the triangles and then you're going to cut into the corners right up to your stitching but obviously not through your stitching helps if you have scissors that are sharp right to the points unlike these right up to your stitching and then you want to do the same for the other side okay so once you've opened it up like that you're then going to post the facing through the, um, the uh, little window that you've just created. Post it all the way through and then you're going to take it over to the ironing board and you're going to press it so that it's all nice and flat. So I'm going to get that done and then we can start working on installing the zip. If you want to attach a label, now's the time to do it. I have just used one of my sewing labels on a scrap of the faux leather or vinyl and centered it just below the zipper pocket. So I am going to get the zipper pocket linings done now. The first thing you're going to want to do is fold up the bottom edge of your zipper pockets and press the seam allowance up. I'm using a one centimeter seam allowance here. And then the next thing you want to do is just trim the top edge, the unfolded unpressed edge. You want to trim one of them down by an inch so that you end up with pieces that look like this. So we've got both bottom edges folded up and then one piece is an inch shorter than the other. Okay, so this is going to seem really counterintuitive because what we want to do is end up with the wrong side of the zip on the right side of the pocket. So you're going to have your either pocket piece and you're going to have it so it's the right side up so that the folded raw edge of your seam allowance is on the bottom. And then you're going to place your zip with the pull the right side up. 
and you want to tack it or baste it in place along the the raw edges together. I've just used my edge stitch foot because I happen to have it on. I've reduced my stitch length to a construction stitch of two and a half and I have just tacked that on there. So we're going to go and then press this like this so that is all in place. Okay so the next step is to take the other inner zipper pocket piece and again you have the right side up so you have the raw edge that you've pressed up and under on underneath and then you're going to take your zipper which has got this attached and you're putting the right sides of the pocket pieces together and you're going to match up the top raw edge with the top of the zip and you're going to sew that in place and baste that in place in the same manner that you did here. I'm using a 10 inch zip uh, just because I prefer working with longer zips and the thing you want to be careful of is matching up the raw edges of your pocket pieces. This is what you should be ending up with. So we have the shorter part, which is going to be the bottom, and then the longer part, which will be the top. These are the right sides. I appreciate that this is not the easiest fabric to see the right and wrong side, but you can tell it's the right side facing up because the seam allowance has been pressed under, and we have the wrong side of the zip on show. So the right side of the zip should have both folded edges visible. So the next thing that we're going to do is run some double-sided tape along the top and bottom of the envelope that we made or the window that we made in our bottom lining panel so that we can center the zip in there nicely and not have to worry about it shifting whilst we're sewing it in. Okay so you want to make sure that your zipper pull is now in the center of your pocket panels because you don't want to sew over this edge with the zipper pull out here. Ask me how I know. I like to just, um, if you haven't shortened your zip and sewn over these ends already, I like to just use a wonder clip to keep it in place. So you want the short part facing you and the long part towards the top of the zip. Got your double-sided sticky tape on the window that you have sewn into your bottom lining panel. You're gonna peel that off and then center this on top of your zip, which is incredibly difficult to do with one hand and through the viewfinder. So yeah, you wanna end up with something that looks like this. And once you're happy with the placement, you want an even amount of zipper teeth on either side of the window. You're gonna then press down with the double-sided tape. You obviously wanna make sure that it's centered over this as well. So it's probably a little bit too far that way. So that's a bit better. So I'm gonna get that actually done, not in a viewfinder whilst holding a camera, and then I'll show you what it should look like. Okay, so once you're happy with the position, you're then going to top stitch around the edge of the envelope window that you made earlier. So I have done that with, again, my blind hem foot on and I ran the foot edge up against this piece here. Just moved the zip out of the way when it got into the way. Uh, so now I have that all nicely top stitched in. I'm now going to go through here and finish off my zip. So I'm going to back stitch back and forth across here so that this zip is nice and secure and I'm going to do that on both ends. So once you've secured your zip, you then want to trim off the excess zipper tape. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to get our folded edges meeting up and we're not going to sew that shut. That's how we're going to be turning our bag through later on. What you want to sew shut is the side edges here and the thing that you want to make sure that you're catching are these little triangles. So we're going to sew from the top of here all the way down, back stitching at the start and the end, and then we're gonna do the same on the other side, and I'll show you as I go. So when you're sewing this in, you wanna make sure that the bottom panel lining is facing up, and it's not a set sense, uh, like a centimeter seam allowance. What you want to be aiming for is to be sewing this down as close to the lining panel as you can without sewing the lining panel itself. And I've back stitched at the bottom, and I'm gonna back stitch when I get to the top here as well. So you want to end up with this little triangle sewn down to the facing, that's the pocket panels or the inner pocket panels in there and then the zip is sandwiched between the two and you'll have something that looks like this on the inside. The bottom is still open which is very important, don't sew that shut and then when you open your zipper the edge of the zipper tape is all enclosed which is what you want. So we've done that panel, we've done our supplement pocket a supplement so we can now start putting our lining together if you have any questions at all please let me know in the comment section down below and i will do my best to answer them for you i really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and i will see you again very soon bye